How's it going, people? Simon Slap here, and this is a little bit different from usual. It's an RS Tech video. And, well, I just uploaded a version of this, but ran into a problem, so I just basically instantly unlisted it so I can fix it, and here we go. So, this, if you didn't catch the last one, is basically going to tell you how to kind of reduce the lag within RuneScape itself. I've been asked about this, and I'm going to cover it because. I thought most people knew about this, but apparently not, so I figured I might as well check this up so everyone else can actually see it, and if you know it, then fair enough, you might not gain anything, but those of you who haven't, you will be able to run a slightly less laggy RuneScape. So there's a few ways to do this, uh, there's a one for Windows, there's one for the browser version of it, there's one for the client version of it, there's one for Mac, there's one for Linux. There's lots to cover, but today I'm going to be covering the RuneScape client version and how you can reduce lag whilst using this. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So, to get the actual client, it's pretty straightforward. You just go to the internet, go to the RuneScape website, go to Game Info, go down to your downloads, and then go to Game Client and download the Windows PC. There is a fix for the lag within Mac, and there's also a fix for it within Linux. But I'm not going to be covering those in this video. This is purely for the RuneScape Windows client. So, once you've downloaded it, uh, go ahead and install it and it'll appear in your desktop just like we got here So first things first What we're actually going to be doing is allocating more RAM to the client itself uh, What this means is it'll have more access to more memory which means it can load things quicker in a nutshell That is what it does uh, The other thing is add in partial multi-threading now those of you who know a bit about PCs, you'll already understand what I mean by that. But if you don't, then if your PC runs more than one CPU, a uh, central processing unit, then you can run multi-threading in it, which basically means multiple CPUs can work together to kind of pump out more power compared to usual. So yeah, that's that. And the last one is adding an SSL connection. SSL connection. And an SSL connection will basically help you if you have a restricted firewall or ISP. And I'll go into that a bit later. Breathe away, let's get started. So first things first, you've installed the RuneScape client, good times. Now you want to go to my computer. And you'll bring up an explorer window, that's this thing right here. And down in the description you will find a little bit of code which we are going to use right now. And this little bit of code is the percentage user profile percentage backslash jagex cache, backslash jagex launcher, and backslash runescape. So all you need to do is simply highlight that little bit of code, go to your my computer window, and up at the top in the address bar, simply click in it, and then paste that code and press enter. That easy. So once you've done that, right in front of you, you'll have the jagex applet viewer.png as well as the runescape.prm. And what we're going to be needing to edit all of this stuff and add all of it in is this runescape.prm. So you can right click on it and you should have an option such as edit with notepad or edit with notepad++ if you have notepad++ installed. Uh, you'll also have something along the lines of open with, it'll be a similar to under this, and notepad should be in here. If that's not the case, you can just simply left click on it and select a program from a list of installed programs, navigate to notepad and you can open it that way. Either way, go ahead and open that up with Notepad. So once you've cracked that open, you should have a little window, something similar to this. You should have a few bits of code in there, and it should be pretty much identical to this, other than perhaps the numbers you'll find here on XMX and XSS. Not to worry, it's perfectly fine, it's just configured to your PC, so your numbers are going to be different. It's no worry whatsoever. So the first thing we're going to do is modify how much RAM the RuneScape client can actually use. Now, Jagex himself recommend 512 megabytes at the most, which they do actually have a reason for that. I have experimented with higher uh, amount of RAM allocation and basically they don't work, at least not in the client version. Apparently, I'm not, they seem to work in the browser version, but there's no way to kind of confirm it because it only uses so much RAM. But, in the client version, 512 is the highest you can have. There are some lower levels of uh, amount of RAM you can allocate, and these are 128 megabytes, 256 megabytes, and 512 megabytes. 
Now, when you're allocating the RAM to this, uh, you can't exceed, or ideally you would not want to exceed, around 50% of your maximum RAM. So to find out what your maximum RAM is, you just simply need to go down to the start. And then in this little search bar here, just type in DXDIAG and press enter. So once you've typed in DXDIAG, you'll then have a window pop up with DirectX Diagnostic Tool. And this little window here tells you pretty much everything you need to know about your PC. And the thing we're looking for is memory, and this is this thing right here. So as you can see, I've got uh, 8200 megabytes worth of RAM in this PC. At the same time, this will also tell you what your processor is if you don't know whether or not you've got a single dual quad hex or oct core. So as you can see, I've got a hex core in here, six cores. If you've got a single core, then the second step about multi-threading will be completely useless to you and there's no point doing it. Uh, if you have a dual core or higher, then the multi-threading will be useful to you, so you really should do it. Either way, once you know what your maximum RAM is, I would have thought 99% of all people with a PC these days have at the very least 1 gig of RAM, which is 1000 megabytes. So half of that is your 512. So 512, every single person should be able to use that. If, however, you happen to have less than 1 gigabyte worth of RAM, or 1000 megabytes worth of RAM, then you might want to use one of these lower settings. Just make sure it doesn't exceed half of whatever RAM is in your PC. Right, once all that's said and done, it's time to edit it. So the first one here, where it says XMX, and you'll have a number here and it'll end in M, this is what we're going to change. So change this to 512. Now what this does is it allocates a new top end that the RuneScape client can actually use. Uh, basically, RuneScape client can now use up to 512 megabytes worth of RAM. Now, I'm assuming before you was probably like mine and it'd be quite a low number, anywhere between something like 100 to 320 meg. So you've just added like double or even more. So that in and of itself is going to make quite a huge difference. So the next one is the next line down where it says XSS and it'll be a low number like one or two and then M. So this one we're going to change slightly, where it says XSS, we're going to change this to XMS. And then you're going to change the number to 512 as well. So you should now have these two lines saying XMX 512M, and then XMS 512M. You've got to make sure you change that S to an M on the second line here. If you don't, and you put in 512, 512, and it says XSS here, what will happen is you'll run the client and simply nothing will happen. So, yeah, make sure you change that bit. And once these bits are done, that is the RAM allocated. So in a nutshell, you've basically just told the RuneScape client to pretty much always have access to 512 megabytes worth of RAM for anything they need to load in within RuneScape. If you compare that to before, where it was like, at the minimum use one megabyte and at the maximum use like all on mine like 112 megabyte i mean it's a huge difference i've just quintupled the amount of ram i can use and it should be a fairly large chunk for you as well right then so the next part is the multi-threading now as i said if you do have a single core you can ignore this little section because well it's going to make no difference to you whatsoever and you just shouldn't do it if you happen to have two or more cores in your system, you will want to do this as it will speed it up. The thing about multi-threading is it's not fully supported by Jagex and on their servers at the moment. However, it is partially supported on some select few things. An example of this, I think, is, you know, as you're running around and you go through a quadrant and you get a little spike of lag and it says, loading, please wait. Now, that can take anywhere between, like, 0.1 second to a few seconds depending on how good your PC is. Well this should help speed that up again. So this is multi-threading. So what we need for this is these four lines here. It begins with XX compile threshold 1500 and ends with XX use par new GC. These four lines are actually going to overwrite. So you can go ahead and delete those for now and you'll have an empty space just beneath XMS. 512M which we just edited. So now if you go to the description just underneath this video you'll find six lines worth of code. 
starting with XS, XX, disable explicit GC, and ends with XX, use parallel GC. It's underneath the partial multi threading little part of the description. So all you need to do is simply copy these six lines, go back to your RuneScape RPM, and then in this line literally just below the XMS 512, simply paste those six lines. Absolutely painless. You've just added multi-threading to the RuneScape client. So, yeah, it is that easy. There's really not a lot to it, to be totally honest. So the last thing worth mentioning is something called SSL. Uh, basically, this will provide an SSL connection between the RuneScape client and the Jagex servers. Now, the way an SSL works, it kind of blocks out outside interference in a way. Uh, if you have a restricted firewall or an ISP, for example, uh, the easiest way to know this is if you, well, if you've got like Xbox or something like that, and you have the NAT type. If that's closed, restricted, or anything other than open, then you've got a restrictive ISP slash firewall in place. So this will help with that quite a lot. And what it does, in essence, is it unblocks some ports that are being blocked by that restricted firewall, which basically allows you to transfer more data between yourself and the Jagex servers and vice versa, which basically means you receive data quicker and you transfer it quicker, which in turn makes loading stuff quicker. That's how it works. Beautiful. So this is the last bit of line and for this line you need to go near the bottom of the description and here you will find uh, dhttps.protocols equals sslv3. And this is the final bit of code. It's under the SSL connectivity part, so it should be quite easy to find. Once you've copied that, go ahead and make your way back to the .prm. And you want to find this line here. This is dcom.jagex.config equals http runescape.com blah de blah de blah and ends with javconfig.ws. So what you want to do is make an empty line below it. So simply go to the end of the line and press enter. And in this line here, you simply want to paste that little bit of code. The dhttps.protocols equals sslv3. And that is it. That is some nice, simple, very easy tricks to speed up how RuneScape actually runs. So what you've just done is added quite a large chunk more RAM allocated to the RuneScape client, which means it'll load things quicker because it's going through your uh, random access memory, your RAM. The other thing you've done is added partial multi-threading if you have a dual core or higher. And what this basically means is every now and then it'll use extra processing power from your other CPUs. It doesn't work fully on all the time because it's not fully supported by Jagex at the moment. But it will help you nonetheless. And the last thing was adding an SSL connectivity thing. Uh, it may not help you whatsoever if you've got an open NAT type or a completely unrestricted connection but if you are restricted or if you aren't aware if you're restricted it's worth putting it in there and that may actually help you out as well so with that said that is pretty much everything for the RuneScape client this should speed it up quite a bit for you so once all said and done you've added these codes in here you've changed xmx and the xss to xms and 512 blah 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 you've added six codes and you added this code here for the ssl simply save it close that window don't need it anymore and simply run RuneScape. And that is pretty much it. You can make sure everything's working perfectly fine. If you added anything higher than 512, what you'll find happen is when you try to log in, it'll force you permanently within safe mode, and it will not change it unless you change the values to go lower. That is why Jagex recommend 512. So you can make sure it's working if you've got OpenGL and DirectX here. And obviously, if the client is actually running, then you can know it perfectly. But other than that, it is that simple. It's really, really simple, nice and easy. It doesn't take long. As you know, it's, this video was probably about 10 minutes long by now, I would have thought. It's really straightforward. You just add a bit of code into the .prm and job done. You've now got maximum allocation of memory and stuff for the RuneScape client on Windows. So if you want more of these, uh, such as fixes for the browser, there isn't a massive huge fix for using RuneScape in the browser, but it does improve it quite a bit. And then ones for Linux and Mac and stuff, I can do those if you want. 
just leave it in the comments and let me know. So yeah, hopefully this all helped you out and you find this quite useful. So until next time people, I will catch you all later. Have a good one.